Welcome everyone, I will let you how to open up the NET on your Xbox Series S. So you can see on the right hand side, NET type opens, I've already done this, I'm going to show you the steps I sh uh, took to do it as well. So here's the deal, right? How the NET type works is it checks whether or not the ports are open up on your Wi-Fi network and the games will use certain ports and if those ports are blocked then you'll see NET type moderate. If you have a ton of ports blocked then the NET type will be closed or extreme. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go on our computer and we need to log into our router. So how do we do this? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So here we go. Uh, what you need to do is you need to head over to the website which allows you to log into your router. Now here's the deal. On my router, I have a website I can go to right here. However, some people, you, know, you may be in a situation where there isn't a dedicated website, and so you need to find the IP address of your router. In order to do that, usually at the back of the uh, actual Wi-Fi router itself, it will have all the login details. So you just want to go to this website here, and then you'll most likely have a username and password. So I have one here, I'm just gonna enter that one in. And here's what you wanna do. So once we're signed in, uh, we just want to find this here. So we just want to find you see this one here, NAT forwarding. We're going to click into this one and you see this DMZ. You're going to click into this one and here's the deal. You want to turn on the DMZ and again, guys, unfortunately, when it comes to every router, it's a different process to actually finding this and you're going to want to enable the DMZ and the host IP address is the IP address of your Xbox Series S. So how do we find this? Well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Xbox here and make sure you connect to the Wi-Fi network. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go to advanced settings and you can see here connection wireless IPv4 and then you can see that IP address right there right below it. So you can see that 192.168.1.4. So what you're going to do is you're just going to enter that in here. So it seems like uh, this was done for the Xbox Series X and somehow it still worked. So we just do this here 192.168.1.4. You click on save. It will ask you to restart the router. If it doesn't ask you, you will need to manually restart your router and then that should solve the issue. Now there's something else you can do as well, which is this one, a port triggering. So what you can do is, now you can also activate virtual servers. So I did this as well. So here's the deal, right? You can see if I just go back to the Xbox Series S itself, you can see where it says port at the bottom, 55609. Well, what we can do is the DMZ will open up all ports, right? Uh, for your device however uh, virtual servers what it will do is it will open up certain ports you need so what you do instead is you just want to create a brand new virtual server so go to virtual servers wherever that is on your router settings then click on add and what you want to do is service type doesn't matter external port is the port you see inside of the series s let me just show you here if i go back you can see the port at the very bottom 55609 that's the one for me for you it most likely be different so you just want to set that here 55609 and then internal IP, that's the IP address, which you see inside the advanced settings area, and then internal port, and then protocol, you just wanna set this to all, so it's gonna include TCP and UDP. So one thing to note is different games will use different ports, so one thing you need to know is if you unblock the port inside of here, you will also need to unblock the port for each game individually, which is a bit annoying. You will need to look up which ports each game uses that you're planning on playing. So the DMZ is the easiest way, just use DMZ, click on, you know, save, and um, yeah, so hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.